Coco Camden. Blaze strikes renowned London music venue London Fire Brigade sent eight engines and about 60 firefighters to deal with the incident. Firefighters are attempting to save the prominent North London music venue Coco, as flames were seen billowing out of its roof on Monday evening. The London Fire Brigade said it was called to the scene in Camden, in North London, shortly before 9 p.m. It said eight fire engines and about 60 firefighters were present. About a third of the roof of the nightclub, which in previous incarnations was known as the Music Machine and Camden Palace, was alight as firefighters tried to save the rest of the venue. The former theater is covered in scaffolding as part of a renovation. Georgia Gold, a labor councillor in the Kentish Town Ward and the leader of Camden Borough Council, tweeted images of the burning building. Labor leadership hopeful and local MP Keir Starmer added his voice to, tweeting, awful news in Camden tonight. Incredible response from our firefighters. A 2014 Guardian Guide described Coco as the London venue that bands play when they're too big for the clubs and not big enough for Brixton Academy. However, it has hosted some of the world's biggest acts, including Madonna, Ed Sheeran and Prince. The venue was due to reopen in spring 2020 after a major state-of-the-art refurbishment, after the purchase of two adjacent buildings. It first opened in 1900 and was listed as a grade II building in 1972. Historic England describes it as having a symmetrical facade in Baroque pastiche style. The organization also paints the elaborate foyer and the mixture of Baroque and Rococo ornament inside the building. And it notes the plaque of Ellen Terry, the celebrated turn-of-the-century British actress who opened the venue in its original guise. In its early years it was used to show a wide range of productions from Shakespeare to pantomime, and opera to musical comedy, and later became a cinema and a BBC recording studio, according to its listing before finally becoming a club and gig venue. Farewell to the 2010s. Will the 2020s offer more hope? This has been a turbulent decade across the world, protest, populism, mass migration and the escalating climate crisis. The Guardian has been in every corner of the globe, reporting with tenacity, rigor and authority on the most critical events of our lifetimes. At a time when factual information is both scarcer and more essential than ever. We believe that each of us deserves access to accurate reporting with integrity at its heart. You've read seven articles in the last four months. More people than ever before are reading and supporting our journalism, in more than 180 countries around the world. And this is only possible because we made a different choice, to keep our reporting open for all, regardless of where they live or what they can afford to pay. We have upheld our editorial independence in the face of the disintegration of traditional media, with social platforms giving rise to misinformation the seemingly unstoppable rise of big tech and independent voices being squashed by commercial ownership. The Guardian's independence means we can set our own agenda and voice our own opinions. Our journalism is free from commercial and political bias, never influenced by billionaire owners or shareholders. This makes us different. It means we can challenge the powerful without fear and give a voice to those less heard. None of this would have been attainable without our readers' generosity. Your financial support has meant we can keep investigating disentangling and interrogating. It has protected our independence, which has never been so critical. We are so grateful. As we enter a new decade, we need your support so we can keep delivering quality journalism that's open and independent. And that is here for the long term. Every reader contribution, however big or small, is so valuable. Firefighters tackled blaze at famous Coco Camden music venue. About 60 firefighters were tackling a blaze at a historic North London nightclub on Monday night. The London Fire Brigade LFB said they were dealing with a fire at the Coco Night Club on Camden High Street after they were called shortly before 9 p.m. Less than an hour later they said that 30% of the historic venue's roof was alight and warned people to stay away from the area. About eight fire engines are present at the club, which has hosted acts including Madonna, Ed Sheeran and Prince. The LFB said they were working hard to save the rest of the building, which is close to Mornington Crescent Underground Station. Leader of Camden Council Georgia Gold said, Heartbreaking watching the Camden Palace flash Coco up in flames this evening, the building that holds so many memories and means so much to us in Camden. MP for Holborn and St. Pancras Sir Keir Starmer echoed MS Gould's statement on Twitter. Sir Keir said, Awful news in Camden tonight. Incredible response from our firefighters. As Georgina Gold says, We owe them so much. DJ Tony Blackbird tweeted, I've only just heard about this. This is terrible news particularly as it was going through a refurbishment and we were hoping to hold our next BBC Radio London Soul Night out there when it opens. Let's hope nobody has been hurt in the fire at Coco it's such a great venue. 
formerly known as the Camden Palace and the Camden Hippodrome, the venue had been closed for refurbishment and was covered in scaffolding at the time of the fire. It was set to reopen in spring 2020 after a major state-of-the-art refurbishment, after the purchase of two adjacent buildings.